Stephen Nate with the Distor here again. We're just here to talk about all sorts of cool new stuff that we have available on our website or soon to be available on the website. Steve, how have you been? Pretty good, man. Had uh, good weather the past couple of days after the rain and a uh, little, little breezy, a little drizzly right now, but we're looking forward to the rest of the week. Yeah, we're hoping to get our, our summer league, our, our ultimate summer league in tonight. We had a tornado warnings and thunderstorms last night, last, last week, and hail, and so we're hoping for better weather than hail for yep. that tonight. Um, all right, Steve, where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the ultimate disc. Which we should probably start with our current promotion. It's very, very idea. nice deal we've got going on. We got some new Super Color Ultra Stars. We got the Wolf Super Color Ultra Star. Right now, for 19... 89, you can get two discs. This is buy one, get one free. Yeah, wolves run in packs, you know, so you don't want to have one, exactly. one lone wolf off by itself. You gotta have, it's gotta have a buddy. So, buy one for yourself, get one for a friend, have two for yourself. Um, yeah, they're pretty sweet. Evan does a really great job with the artwork. Those are pretty cool. Um, guys, while we're here, ask us whatever random questions you have about anything. Um, we'll answer what we can. Um, give us some other cool stuff, uh, ultimate-wise, that we've had in the, the last couple of months. Well, the most recent addition was the little Polynesian, Polynesian. Maya design that, we'll that we've got now. So, you got do. orange, you got black, and you've got white. Uh -huh. uh, the black one has really sweet rainbow dye on it. Uh, and these are all these two color hot stamps. So these are these are pretty cool. It is pretty slick. These were just a couple weeks ago on sale. They're still on sale, but uh, don't forget about the Wolf disc. They're, yeah, they're still at your cheap disc store prices. But the Wolf is the like deal of the week. Again, buy one get one free. So twenty bucks gets you two of these sweet new super color discs. Don't want to miss out on that. Hit that up on the website. Yes. Um, what are we giving away, Evan? Wolf. All right, we're giving away one of the wolf discs and some other random things throughout the video. We'll uh, to be determined on some of them. Um, like, comment, share the video, all those, all those fun things. Leave us comments, ask us questions, um, tell us where you're from, anything like that. Like the video, share it so more people see what's going on. Nice catch, boy. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you learn. Just you know, comment. If you say, the funnier your comment is, the more likely Evan is to pick it, let's just be honest All right, so here. Chris Cleveland is asking, does Steve own more than one hat? Do I wear this one a lot? Yes, I have like five or six hats. Yeah, he has like six of the Hucket hats, which are available on our website, yeah. right, Evan? They are available. So any of the sweet hats you see Steve wearing, um, we have available. Which also, why don't you go grab a couple of our new Distor hats? Sure. We'll show those off. I forgot about those. Um, but yeah, uh, we've got those hats available on the website, so if you like Steve's style, you can snag one of those. Um, we also just got, Steve's running and grabbing the new embroidered disc store hats that we have. I'm normally wearing one of those in our videos. Um, and we've got a couple different styles. This is the, just the, the generic disc store one. We have it in red and black. And Evan, what are these on sale for on our website? Um, I believe they are 1989. So 1989, sweet price for a sweet hat. Um, we have the Distor logo, then we have the Distor Disc Golf logo ones. I think Steve is trying to snag wherever he went off. We've got There's a comment from a guy named Will Ch Chusterick. Will Chusterick. He says, the, those Frisbees are dope. I need one to play catch with. Boom. Will, we're going to hook you up in a couple days. So uh, go check that out. Swap my hat out. Might as well represent, you know. Don't worry about it, Steve. I can't find they've, any more hats. they've seen my hat on the on a. Cool. This this is great. Steve cool. and Nate Wednesdays at five. Um, speaking of uh, this week on this this is great with Steve and Nate, we are going to be doing the dynamic disc criminal and the legacy fighter. Uh, both of those just came out in the last month or so. Um, Steven, just give us a quick rundown of what the criminal and the fighter are. Criminal and fighter. These are your headwind fighter discs. These discs are meant to be able to withstand strong headwinds, fight through it, or on a tailwind shot, this is a placement shot. This is a nice consistent hyzer for any 
any style of player. You could have the biggest arm, this thing's still just going to crash out on you. Yeah, this does one thing and one thing well, and it goes left for us right hand, backhand throwers. It goes right for Steve because he throws with the wrong hand. But it's super overstable. Uh, both the criminal and the fighter, they're very, um, very similar discs. But I still have like 30 first run lucid criminals available on the website. So check that out. Probably the only that still has some first run ones. So check them out. They're on the web website. I think I'm at 1789 right now. Um, so get get out of it. Get your first run lucid criminals. The fusion ones should be showing up tomorrow. Um, I think is when my fusion order is coming in. Um, Steve, why don't you tell? I know you've been throwing the crap out of this disc. Why don't you tell us about latitude? All right, fun stuff they've got going on. So latitude just. A little while ago, they came out with this overmold technology, kind of like MVP. They've got the optoplastic, which is a lot like an Innova Champion, and then they put uh, their Goldline plastic, which is a lot like a Star plastic from Innova. Um, it almost looks like it's one solid piece of plastic, but these are in fact two different types molded together, and the Number one thing I would say about this disc is how much glide it has. It says it's got a speed of 5. This is the Gobi. It says it has a speed of 5, glide of 5, turn of negative 1.5, and a fade of 1. And it just keeps going. I'll throw this downhill, watch it just go. I'll throw it into a headwind, and I'll still watch it just go. Uh, super straight for me. I, I throw a lot of the Emac truth, so it has a big hyzer out on me, or it starts to hyzer through the flight. This thing... I throw on a little hyzer, pops up, and just keeps going. It's awesome. Yeah, that, that thing bombs for a mid-range. I'm liking it a lot. And the idea with Latitude's overmold is it's it's similar to MVP in that it's overmolded, but it's not a rubber. This is the gold line plastic, and it's to give the disc added durability. It's not like MVP has the rubber that's more dense on the outside to help with spin. That's not really what Latitude is going for. I think they're going for it looks cool, and it makes it a little more durable. But I've thrown the Gobi a little bit too, and I'm loving it. It pops up to straight and just goes. Um, the actual numbers on it are 5, 5, negative 1.51. Um, but it's not as flippy as those numbers should say it should be, especially for latitude. Like, I expected it to be really flippy. But it, it throws really nice and really far for a mid-range. Uh, what, what do you think about the Bryce so far, Steve? I thought the Bryce was really nice. And it rhymes too. The... <laughs> Like I said, the amount of glide that I'm getting from these, and I think it could be due to some of the kind of like MVP technology, could but be. it could just be how the, how the pl plastics are blended, where they just have like a complement to each other. But this, I'd say throw it on hyzer or all day, throw it down a tunnel. It's, it's, it flips up real nice and then it stays there. Or you want to turn it into... A nice straight disc for someone whose average power is like mm -hmm. 250. I'd say this would be perfect for just nice straight to hyzer shot. Yeah, it's a very good beginner level disc because it's way flippier than it says it is. Um, the Gobi I think is straighter than it says it is, but the numbers on the Bryce are 9, 6, negative 1, 2. Yep. Which sounds like an escape or a saint, and it is not that stable, at least the one that we've thrown so far. It's really flippy, great for low power arms. Um, and then the last one in that line is the Seric, which is the putter. Uh, I've not putted with it yet, but it's it's fairly stable for, for a throwing putter. Yep. Glides pretty good. Um, crashes out really well. Um, Steve, do you have any idea what these names are? Where they got where they got these weird names from? I'm gonna have to say it's something to do with where they're manufactured. It's a part of their language there in Sweden, but uh, I don't know the exact term. So I looked it up. Seric is actually the name of a national park really close to the Latitude 64's factory. Okay. So I'm going to assume there's a disc golf course there, and so that's where that came from. Uh, I've got no idea on Gobi. I couldn't find so anything other than two guys like an endurance race across the Gobi Desert once. Okay. Um, so I don't know if maybe that's where they got it. And the Bryce is like a Swedish word for like son of a nobleman. But that's about all I got. All I right. tried. It's also a sweet middle name by uh, yours truly over here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's Do you go spell ahead. it funny like that too? The same, same spelling. <laughs> all right, so let's let's give away uh, your the red and white hat that you're wearing. 
Cool. So we had a comment earlier on uh, said simply sweet red and white hat from <laughs> Ben Boom. Dodds. So Ben Dodds, um, go ahead and message us on Facebook or you can email us at service at discstore.com and you can claim this hat. We'll send it right out to you. So and again, you can get one for yourself if you didn't win it on our website. They're available. Uh, we have a disc golf version too that I wear a lot. They're sweet hats. They fit well. I'm a liking them a lot. All right, Steve, what else do we have? We should talk about this guy. These I haven't gotten on the website yet. But have you thrown the, have, you, have I thrown the beetle with you yet? You threw it at me, and I caught it. <laughs> but no, I have yet to toss it. Okay, so Evan, you've thrown the beetle. Have you? No, you bought one. I don't know if you've thrown it yet. No, I haven't thrown it yet. Okay, so I threw this at GBO at the bonfire. It's Latitude 64's new catch disc, and they all come in like 140 grams. So I expected it to be like super uncontrollable paper plate. and like paper plate be kind of a gimmicky thing that no one ever buys this thing actually flies amazing like it's hold it held whatever line i put it on i was throwing it in like 15 mile an hour headwinds at gbo um flipping it up the flat and carrying forever it flies like an ultimate disc but it's super like super controllable i think this is one of the new discs that if you're an ultimate player trying disc golf this is a great transitional disc for you. Um, again, I was really surprised at how well it flies at 142 grams. Um, I expect that to be dumping it over, turning it over a lot, but it holds whatever line I put it on. Legitimately considering putting one of these in my bag for up shots. It's, it flies that That's great. That's awesome. Um, it's sweet. So it's bigger than your standard disc golf disc. Like I can fit that one almost all the way in there. A little bit of help. Um, but it's it's sweet. I'm gonna have it on the website soon. If you're an ultimate player getting into disc golf, you should check out a beetle hands down. All right, guys. Some questions here. Nathan Meyer says, "What tips can you give me for someone that struggles with distance drives?" Uh, lots of them. Um, kind of depends on where you're at. Steve, what what's some simple things that a lot of people get wrong when they're trying to throw farther? I would say the biggest thing besides grip which uh, my, my biggest distance, my main grip, I got pinky, ring, and middle finger really tucked in, and then the pointer finger is not all the way covering around the rim. And that's because I'm trying to hinge off of my pointer finger and thumb, and if I have that tucked in there, I've now locked that into the disc. I've now locked the disc, and I'm going to grip lock the crap out of this thing. So... Create a consistent, powerful grip, and then making sure your release point is at the last possible point where you have power using everything from the ground up. If you pass your lead foot when you're releasing, at that point you've only thrown with your arm. You've, no long, you've done all this hip stuff, move the shoulders, but once that hand passes the lead foot's center point line you're throwing with your arm and that is probably a big thing for most people just not getting that release point down I would say grip release point if you want some more tips we, we can do we can do some more but uh, send us an email or ask another comment and I, we can get into a little more depth in it through through the comments one of the things that I see a lot is people grabbing discs that aren't good for them um, especially beginners, you especially if you've watched a lot of disc golf, like you'd see people throwing destroyers and PD2s and enforcers for 600 foot bombs, and you have to throw stupid hard to get the results out of those discs that those guys are. There's like 20 people in the world that can do what they do with the discs that they're doing it with. So a lot of times people are trying to grab discs that are too big for them or too much for their arm, so sometimes it's stabling down and speeding down. Like, a lot, like, a lot of people should only be throwing in between 9 and 11 speeds, not these 13, 14s. And you'll actually get more distance out of a lower speed disc if it fits your arm speed better. You only get more distance out of a high speed disc if you have the extra arm speed to do so. Um, and so that's what I see a lot of people doing, they're throwing things that are too overstable or too, um, or too fast for their arm speed. Gotcha. Uh, another question. Um, what's your favorite course and how often do you guys travel to play? <laughs> well, the past 
in the past three weeks, we've gone to Kansas City twice. Uh, and those, all four of the courses that I played, I have not seen them before. Uh, besides the six holes we played on the, the night before. Um, honestly, if I could throw a consistent 450, 500 foot drive, I would say Blue Valley was super cool. I'd really like Blue having to nice throw course. over stuff. Where's that at? Blue Kansas Valley's City. in Kansas City. It's the it's one of the longest courses in the world as well. If once it's, it's put into its farthest positions. If it's set in all the longs, it's a twelve thousand foot course almost. Um, Our local course is like half of that. Yes, maybe legitimately half of that, depending on the setup. Uh, normally. Normally, Blue Valley is set up around seven and a half, seven and a half to eight, but if it's in full longs, it's twelve thousand and it's nasty. <laughs> um, I try. I'm really traveling to an out of town tournament probably about once a month uh, on average. Sometimes it's two or three in a month, and then not for a couple. Favorite course I've ever played is hands down Beaver Ranch in just outside of Denver, Colorado. Conifer, I believe. So. Yeah, it's in Conifer. That's the little town that it actually is in. All right, Steve. Before we do some more disc golf stuff. What what a, what can you tell me about Eric? Eric is a really nice program. The main thing is they're helping uh, cancer awareness. Biggest thing uh, with cancer is knowing your body and knowing what to look for when if you ever feel symptoms, if you ever see something change. Uh, and then you can even tell other people who just might not know. It's able. They te they teach you. You teach someone else, and we just have this nice big circle. So uh, right Eric stands for Early Recognition is Critical, which it's, a, again, a program that helps uh, especially kids and element elementary school age kids um, talking about, like, cancer symptom awareness, like knowing when something is wrong with your body. They do it through teaching ultimate in elementary school and middle school PE classes. Um, so what, a, what are we doing with Eric as far as partnering with them with these sweet Super killer discs. Oh yeah, and we're gonna give this away. So talk about it, and we'll. While, while they are talking about, speak up, make a comment, and then we will give this disc away to someone at the end. What? Seventy-five percent. Right now, any product that could be that's by Speak Up, that's Eric. We're doing seventy-five percent is going back to this program. So purchase it through us. We're going to give 75% of that purchase back to just, just because these guys are doing a great job. We love what they're doing, and uh, we just want to help the community, be it ultimate, be it uh, cancer survivors, cancer awareness. Yep. That's so we've got the Super Color Center discs. Um, we have jerseys. We have coffee mugs for you caffeine addicts out there. And is that all we got, Evan? Or is there some other, other products? Uh, there are other Eric products. But there are other Eric products. products, but those are the three that you can get on our site that I know for sure. Uh, check those out. Probably under Ultimate, and there's probably an Eric section. I haven't actually looked for it on the website. You can find those there. Um, it's a sweet looking disc that goes for a great cause. All right, so the winner of the Speak Up disc, you want to hold it up. Um, it's going to be Amanda Ferguson. Amanda Ferguson. Um, Congrats on winning the Speak Up Disc. Go ahead and message us on Facebook or email us at service at discstore.com and we'll get that disc out to you. Um, so congrats, Amanda. All right, let's talk about some of the other uh, new release stuff we've got for disc golf. Steve, look, we've got it over there under the towel. These pretty new discs are a company you might not recognize as a disc golf company. If you've ever heard of the shoe company Vibram, then this should give you one indication. These are not plastic. These are, in fact, rubber. These are just like the soles of a shoe, but they've put them into some molds, and now we've got rubber disc golf discs, and they're actually pretty sweet. So Vibram's been around for five, six years now as far as making disc golf discs, longer than that with their outdoor wear and shoes and whatnot. But we, uh, we hadn't been carrying them lately, so uh, I... We have a couple guys locally, and we had some interest online, so I picked up pretty much Vibram's full line, all of their excellent stuff. Um, they've got drivers, they've got um, mid-ranges, putters, all sorts of stuff. All Again, it's all rubber plastic, um, but, well, it's all rubber. 
Um, but it comes in a variety of softness. Like this is a medium, so it's got pretty good flex. Do you have a firm over there? Is that not very uh, firm? This one's not that firm. Why don't you grab a firm out of the pile okay. so we can actually show it off? So it's got the medium softness here. A few of their putters come in soft, and this is really soft. Like you're supposed to be able to quarter it. So that's pretty soft plastic. So this doesn't bounce off chains very far. You hit the basket and it's going to stay there. Um, and then the firm plastic, it's a little more firm, a lot less give in the rim itself. Um, so the, the cool thing about Vibram is you don't have just standard colors. Like nothing is normal as far as color goes. Everything's got some kind of uniqueness like that one, or it's got like this confetti-ishness on those. Very so few someone said they have one that looks legitimately, legitimately like a rock. Like yeah. A cool yeah. Pattern. Their granite plastic is super sweet. I haven't picked that up yet, but it's it's got some cool colors to it. Um, so these have great grip, especially in the rain. Um, we were doing a league one time when I was back back in Springfield, where we had like six hundred dollars in the ace pot, but it was like forty degrees and raining. And it's like we still played because six hundred dollars in the ace pot is quite a bit. <laughs> The only thing I could grip by the end of the night was my Vibram Ascent, which they don't make anymore. But it's the only thing I could grip because it was rubber and it was so cold. But they're great for grip, great for the rain. Um, Steve, why don't you show off the the flight chart on yeah. the inside and kind of explain I that. Do wanna, I do want to make an announcement that uh, Nathan made up a new word and Joey Passenger really loves it. He says, confetti-ishness. Confetti There's a great new word. <laughs> Congrats on that. We'll try to see if we can get that to... Uh, to Merriam-Webster. <laughs> All right, y'all. So they don't have flight numbers on these discs. What they do have is almost a flight chart just to describe exactly what this disc is meant to do. This one here actually has, instead of a drawing, it does have a chart itself. Uh, but basically, it's giving you a speed number, how far, how fast this thing should be thrown. And then it's going to show you how much it's going to, as a right-handed player, how much is going to turn to the right and how much it should fade back to the left. Um, so this one here, it actually says 4 feet to the right and 12 feet back to the left at 46 miles an hour. So if you know how fast you actually throw, these are great. Uh, but we are going to have to go get a speed gun to figure out uh, how fast Nate and I actually do it. And on the website, I do have Innova comparable numbers listed, so you can find something that's similar, try it out. Um, but yeah, it's a great new company to try out. Um, all, all of their molds are it, that they currently make are available on the website right now. Got those all up over the weekend, so you Vibrant Throwers can be happy and go check them out on the website right now. Uh, $15.89 for all of their stuff. Um, it's a great price for Vibram too. Uh, Taylor wants to know, do they make any of that float on water? Uh, they do. Um, well, they will. Um, that is a new plastic they're just getting ready to release that they haven't released yet. Um, I think it's actually just called Float. Um, so we'll have those in the near future. Ish. Ish. Confetti-ishness. <laughs> Confetti-ishness. <laughs> um, all right, Steve, we've got, we've got, we just got these in from Prodigy, and I have the X2s on the way as well. This is the Prodigy X4. It's a new series of drivers they're coming out with. Do you know anything about the X4 yet? Did you read any of the descriptions? That's all I know either. I know that the Prodigy products go, one is the most overstable, and as you get into the higher numbers, the less overstable it becomes. So this is going to be relatively flippy. But straight to flippy, for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, I know I saw Will's. Will Shustrick coming in our video. I saw his throwing video of it. He looked like he was throwing it pretty spike. And if Will's still around, you can comment on that too. Um, I, he was throwing it pretty spike and it was flipping up nice, getting a lot of turn and fading back at the end. Um, Prodigy's plastic looks super sweet though. Yeah. I will say that. Oh, yeah. All their plastic looks gorgeous. Um, these are available on the website. The X2s release on Thursday and I should have them um, in by then. And then we're going to be doing the review of these and this date, this this disc is great um, with Stephen Nate probably June 7th. We'll do the X4 and the X2 together, which we'll do the Overmold stuff next week and then the Criminal and the Fighter this week. Um, all of the uh, the Criminals, the Overmolds, the Prodigy X4, all available on the website right now, along with the Rock X3, 
from Innova. Innova was super cool to us and hooked us up with some extra Protostar Rock X3s. Um, I'll get these up on the website probably today or tomorrow. Um, Steve, you've been throwing the Rock X3 a lot. What do you think about it? Uh, in my bag, I've got beat up Emac Truth, new Emac Truth, Verdict, and then I would say that is just a little more overstable than my Verdict. I would say if I need something to like just hyzer the whole time, put on put it on a hyzer and have it hyzer the whole time. That's what I do with it. Um, otherwise, if I need something to really fight out of an ante, that's going to do it. It's not quite my Buzz OS, so don't think it's it's just stupid overstable. It's not a justice, but not justice, not a Buzz OS, but it is it is more overstable than most Rock Three in Metal Flake that I've seen. Yeah. So this is the Rock Three X is just. Uh, 0.5 more overstable than the Rock 3 by the numbers. So it's a little more stable, has a touch less glide than the Rock 3. Um, for those who want just a little bit more overstable mid range, you might go with the Rock X3. Um, heard a lot of good things from people locally liking it. We sold out before I even got it on the website when we got the first ones in. So check those out. Um, all right. Let's one, do two last giveaways. Two last giveaways. So, guys, we're going to give away two more things. Um, did we give away the Wolf yet? We gave away uh, one wolf. We gave away a hat. And we gave away a hat. And we gave away a speak up. No, no. So we're gonna give away that. we're gonna give away a wolf, a super color. Um, so if you get if you guys want to win the wolf, you gotta comment with with your best howl. So I want to hear or see your best howl typed out. So this could get really creative. So oh boy. Um, I want to see that if you want to win the wolf, and then if you want to win uh, the howl, our disc store disc golf howl. Um, go ahead and comment with disc golf. So Which, these are available on the website for saying about leave pretty much for a great price. Um, they'll save some 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 scores in the wetness. We got some wetness. sweet we got some sweet howls coming in. Right. Uh, I will read them. Howl Ah <laughs> Ar Woo So those are nice. pretty good. They probably they probably sound cooler than uh, they, they look they're typed out. All right, so we're gonna get a disc golf versus a wolf. So let's see what kind of comments we can get. Um, we've got about a minute left here. So if you guys have anything else to say, wrap it up. Um, but again, if you want to win the wolf, uh, type your best howl. If you want to win the disc golf howl, type in disc golf. So let's see. So as those are coming in, we've got a few more things to talk about. These are new releases from MVP, Streamline, and Axiom. All one company, but they do different things with their discs. Uh, a bunch of limited edition stuff that's releasing this Friday that I'll hopefully have on the website. This is the brand new MVP disc, the Teleport. Um, super high speed, supposed to be fairly straight to a little flippy. Um, their stock ones are coming out, but along with this is also their limited edition, only a thousand of these made, special edition stamp. Um, also, the MVP Mayhem, not, not the MVP, the Axiom Mayhem, another last driver, straight to flippy. Their limited editions are coming out. Really sweet stamp. Trifoil. MVP is the only company doing that. Um, we're going to throw these soon. Let you know how they fly. Last week on this, this is great with Stephen Nate. We did the um, the Streamline Trace, which is MVP's single mold discs. Um, we like them a lot. Similar to a straight wraith. They bomb when thrown right. This is what I meant when I thought they were going to do a cool special edition. The original Proto Stamp Special Edition ones, I was a little disappointed by, but this is a sweet stamp. Uh, Trifoil again, Ace of Trace, or Trace the Ace, however you, they actually say that. Um, super sweet stamp. Those will be online Friday. And then finally, we've got the Macro Teslas, which this is. MVP's getting in on the oversized mini game. Getting in the mini game. Um, I haven't thrown one of these yet, but I'm going to tonight, and I'm expecting it to fly great. Because these are actually 10 grams heavier than Discraft's Minis. Yeah, they're those. I picked it up, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, it's 78 grams, molded just like a Tesla, same overmold technology. These are pretty sweet. I'm ready to throw one. See how far it goes. All right, guys. So, we're gonna announce our winners. Um, uh, the favorite. Oh, we even got an, a little wolf emoji. That was pretty cool. Um, our favorite howl is going to be from Cameron Lang. So Cameron, you're going to win this wolf super color. Um, he typed in a lot of howls and owls, and it was awesome. So Again, Cameron Lang is getting the wolf super color. And yeah, tell us about it. Buy one, get one free this all weekend. Uh, till Sunday, right? Till Monday? 
So, uh, Sunday at midnight. Sunday at midnight. These are buy one, get one free. Um, they're sweet super color design. Pick them up. Let's ship them all out. All right, and the winner of the disc golf, the disc store disc golf towel is Garrett Daly. Garrett Daly, um, congrats on winning that. So if you guys won something, uh, we have your name written down, and go ahead and message us on Facebook, and we will respond and get that out to you as soon as you can. You can also email us, um, and that's service at discstore.com. So, uh, Nate, you got anything else? Uh, make sure to check in tomorrow night, 5 o'clock. This, this is great with Steve and Nate. We'll have the criminal and the fighter, and we'll be giving away a first-run fighter and a first-run lucid criminal. Check that out tomorrow night uh, at 5 o'clock, hopefully. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.